In this video, we'll discuss a common cause of vertigo called BPPV, which causes a sudden and intense feeling of spinning when your head orientation changes relative to gravity. First, we'll break down the BPPV acronym to understand the symptoms. Then, we'll take a look inside the inner ear to see the cause of the condition. And finally, we'll talk about diagnosis and treatment. BPPV stands for Benign Paroxysmal Positional Vertigo. Benign in this context means that BPPV is not a life-threatening condition. That doesn't mean it's harmless though. Anyone with BPPV will tell you that it can feel pretty horrible, and it does increase the risk of falls so it can place you in some danger. Paroxysmal refers to sudden and intense episodes, so the vertigo caused by BPPV will come on suddenly and feel quite intense. The symptoms usually subside within a period of seconds to minutes, but sometimes patients do feel some dizziness between episodes. Positional means that the symptoms are triggered by certain positions. If you have vertigo symptoms that aren't triggered by certain positions, it's unlikely you have BPPV. Rolling over in bed and looking upward are the two positions that trigger BPPV most commonly. Finally, vertigo refers to the false or illusory sense of motion of yourself or the environment when no movement is actually occurring. Putting it all together, you end up with BPPV. Deep in the skull, your inner ear houses the organs of hearing and balance. The balance organs have two sections. The first section is called the vestibule, which houses tiny organs that work together to sense gravity, the tilt of the head, and linear movements such as accelerating in a car or going up in an elevator. The other section, made up of three semicircular canals, senses quick rotational head turns such as moving your head side to side or up and down. To sense the direction of gravity, the vestibule uses heavy crystal particles called otoconia. Normally, small sliding movements of clusters of these crystals allow specialized cells to sense the orientation of the head. In BPPV, these crystals come loose from their normal positions in the vestibule and end up in the semicircular canals. Once there, changes in head orientation can cause the otoconia to move along the canal in the direction of gravity, causing small fluid currents that activate the receptors for quick rotational head turns. A simple change in orientation now tells the brain that your head is turning quickly, which is what causes the vertigo symptoms. The otoconia can get lost in any of the three semicircular canals, and symptoms and treatment vary a bit depending which canal is affected. The posterior canal, which is the lowest of the three canals in normal head positions, is affected by far the most often, making up about 95% of BPPV cases. So that's the case we'll focus on for the rest of this video. To test for BPPV, you would turn your head 45 degrees to the right or left, and then lean all the way back, laying down with your head hanging below your body. This is called the Dix Hallpike position. If you have BPPV, you should feel dizzy after a few seconds in this position, and an observer will see rapid eye movement caused by the false sense of motion. If the diagnosis of BPPV is confirmed, we can actually treat the disease by guiding the head and body through a few more positions to help move the otoconia back to their proper homes. Which, if you ask me, is pretty amazing. Anyway, in the next position, your body stays in place and you turn your head to the other side, away from the affected ear. After waiting a minute to let the otoconia move and settle into a new position, you move your body away from your affected ear, effectively turning your head another 90 degrees. After another minute, you then sit back up, making sure to keep your head tucked toward your shoulder still turned toward the unaffected ear before finally straightening your head. Sometimes this whole maneuver needs to be repeated, but overall this treatment has a very high success rate. That's it for this video. More information on BPPV can be found on the website of the UCSF Balance and Fall Center. Thanks for watching.